on our van trip we took some amazing photos and we've gotten some of them printed and this is a nice emu one that rowan took and rowan also took this one which is probably my favorite photo of all time look at that like the kangaroos are looking directly at the camera and it's got a little baby in its pouch a little joey so we're gonna hang those up on these frames here very exciting oh don't mind the washing in the background that's embarrassing so one of the big jobs for today is to basically move everything that's in this room into this room this room has just sort of been a like chuck everything like that's the box for the christmas tree because it's still up got all of our suitcases all of our like memory boxes and stuff our camping chairs just like random books like it's just a it's a bit of a nothing room and because this room has two windows so one there and one here we really want to make this a really nice space so we're going to turn this into the office and we're going to make this room the guest bedroom so we're going to do a bit of a switcheroo off the edge slowly go into it and you should be right to just follow that line yeah cut along it so you wouldn't recommend going full blast but also not yeah, so no, slow I go, yeah oh. i go full full blast get it going yeah. you just want to make sure that your the base of this is resting on this because if you're like coming in and you're holding it off there mm -hmm. then it's going to grab and start shaking the whole thing oh. whereas if you've got it pressed hard up against that so you're kind of putting a little bit of pressure downwards yeah. it will then cut through without like bouncing you around let the weight of it sort of sit on there mm -hmm. and, and then push it as well or not push yeah and then sit it so your blade's just off the edge like you have it so it's lined up with your line yeah stand to the side and look over the front so you can see it like this whole bit is the handle so you can hold it here and like here okay. and then that'll kind of give you a better really grip than it. trying to hold it like that <laughs> more than that the faster it is the less it will grab and pull you because it's mm -hmm. going to be moving so fast that it's just going to be cutting it yeah. whereas if it's going slowly it'll have a chance to like grip the pipe and start pulling the machine like pulling the blade oh, so okay. the faster you go the smoother it will be so get it going like fully and then start yeah, get moving it going it. full speed and then slowly just move into it So you've just got to lift the back of that oh. slightly to get it on there because you right. see how you've got this bit here? Yeah. Yeah, you're just hooking onto that. Oh, so it's okay. going to lift that above the thing, but keep keep it kind of straight. Yep, keep okay. going in. Oh, oh that was a bit wonky. <laughs> straight enough. As I would say to the apprentice, straight is the man that cut it. <laughs> Do you know what you just used? A red lithium M18. And that's the battery. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you used a jigsaw. A jigsaw. Might be wonky bookends, but that's alright. Straight as the books you'll read. <laughs> <laughs>
it is currently New Year's Eve and I just want to jump on and wish you guys a happy New Year's. We're currently just making dinner. We're going to sit down and watch the vlog and then maybe watch New Year's Eve with Zac Efron in it because that is my favourite, favourite New Year's Eve movie. And yeah, we're just going to have a little cheese board at midnight and we're really excited. I hope you guys have had a lovely 2023 and I can't wait to bring you along for 2024. What are we going to do? What are we going to get up to? I don't know. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've shown you any of the DIY things that we've done. So let me start off inside. We've done quite a few things. Firstly, these gorgeous prints on the wall. These are some photos that Rowan took on our trip and this photo is my absolute favourite of all time. I think I mentioned this in the start of the vlog. Also, don't mind the fan, it's so hot this morning. Next up, Rowan built these floating shelves in the kitchen and I think they look so good. We also changed around a few things. We just keep some plants. Also this cute little skull. I got a Nutribullet for Christmas, so that's where that belongs. And yeah, Rowan's little coffee station, the pen. And if you've been watching for a while, you probably would have noticed that this space has had a million different changes, but I think this is gonna be the official one we go with. We've taken down Cosmo's little thing that he looks out on because he doesn't really use it as much as we hoped he would. And so we bought this thing off Facebook Marketplace. It looked completely different to this. I'll put a little photo here on the screen of what it used to look like, but Rowan just worked all day and used this extra little bit of wood we had, painted it the same color as our bedroom wall. We got a little doorknob from Bunnings and this is where my record player is gonna go. I currently have two vinyls, but yeah, how cute is that? We also bought this really huge, actually no, we didn't buy it, it was free. We got this really huge like cabinet for free off Marketplace and it's so weird. It's got, hi, it's got like a little mirror section and then it's got some like, cupboards and then some drawers going there. And yeah, it's just such a weird little thing, but we're gonna do it up and it's gonna look really, really cute. And since I spoke to you last, oh, Cosmo's just decided to have a drink. And yeah, since I, oh, he started again. <laughs> since I spoke to you last, we have tried to grow cucumbers. And they all used to look like this. And so we put sticks on them to grow really high. But now some of them are just really dying and flopping everywhere. So we have no idea what happened. But these ones over here in these little pots. If you've watched a couple of vlogs ago, I tried apple seeds and I planted them. And this is how well they're doing. I'm so, so incredibly proud of my little apple seeds. So we've got three of them. One, two, three. Um, we're hoping these cucumbers last, but not sure. There's like two left that are doing kind of well. And the huge project that we did over the Christmas holidays, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have got a little snippet of it. Um, sorry if you can hear that, Rowan's just vacuuming inside. But oh my God, I am so, so stoked with how this one turned out. Rowan basically built this all himself and I just held things and carried things when he needed me to. Have a look at this. It's so incredible. It's a massive like outdoor swing seat sort of thing and it is just the nicest, coziest place to sit and it doesn't get too hot because it's under these gorgeous trees. He just bought all of the, all of the chain, all of the wood, the stain, everything like that from Bunnings and just created this incredible seat that we just, we sit on this almost every day since he's built it. And it's just so cute and it's so well made as well. Under the trees, it's just, it's like a little paradise. And Cosmo normally sits up here when we're on the seat and just digs around. But yeah, I could not be happier with how this seat turned out. We also bought a lemon tree, so maybe in like five years we'll get a lemon out of it. We've got some tomatoes growing. I'm not sure if I've already showed you that one. Probably. I just love my little garden so much. And these are the only potatoes that are doing well. We planted three big buckets and there's only like one little plant that's doing well. And we've got some more tomatoes over here, but they're looking a bit worse for wear. It's been really, really hot the last couple of days, so I think they're struggling a little bit. And on Christmas Day, we decided to play around with some clay. We tried to make like little planter pots because we'd seen cute ones on Etsy, but they didn't really turn out as well as we hoped. This was mine. I had like different stairs on every side, but like my ladder's broken and looking a bit funny. Oh, hello. Hi. And this one's Rowan's. Has like a nice little front little porch area, but yeah, I think we might need to hone in on our skills a little bit more on that one. We have just been so busy with like little DIY projects over the Christmas holidays, and I just love how our little house is coming along. And yeah, I'm also doing a, um, a three, well, I'm trying, I'm also doing this challenge on Instagram that is like posting every single day for the entire year of 
like doing things that make me happy. And one of the previous days was like us building this big seat. I can't really take any credit for it because Rowan literally did everything. <laughs> but yeah, first vlog back for the year. How exciting is that? I think I'll have lots of fun and exciting content to come this year. I'm also feeling so good at the moment with my new job and everything just seems to be going smoothly now, but it's very early stages. It's still early January, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think this year is going to be the year of trying to rest and relax and just, I don't know, try and find the positives and everything because I feel like last year a lot of negative things happened or like my mindset was negative. I'm looking forward to bringing you along with me in 2024 and we'll see where we're at at the end of the year. See how different things are. Usually a year just like you can't even recognize yourself from the previous year. Yeah, let's just see what 2024 brings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.